but it hasn't been a great day on the Santo Rocco. Skipper Chug hasn't slept since failing to catch a single tuna. His disastrous skunk. Just been travelling most of the night in the last five hours. Try a different area. Went out a bit wider so we're further out to sea again. We're ready to go. Right, let's do it. But while the crew shoot away the 55 kilometre line, a sudden and frightening sight. An enormous twister is heading straight for them. Be that much wind in that, you can't see all the water going yeah, around. It's a big one, so that's the biggest one I'll say. I just got to be careful because if it comes ripping through, we'll do a lot of damage. Look at that, it's getting bigger and bigger. Look at it, that's massive. That is about. Oh, shit. It's about four miles. It's still coming towards us, eh? Skipper Chuck knows if the twister hits the boat, thousands of razor sharp hooks could turn into lethal weapons. He gives an order to secure the deck. Pack the deck up really quick in case it comes over because it'll just blow all this off. Chug knows he can't outrun the twister. It's moving at more than double the Santa Rocco's top speed. So he must outmaneuver it. But with its long line still attached, the Santa Rocco can't change course. He makes a drastic decision. Cut the line. Just tell to put the beak and I'll slow it down. See that on the outside of us? Yes. Tell you what, it's the biggest one I've ever seen. Twisters usually last 15 minutes, but this one rages for more than half an hour before its fury eases. Still see the water turning on it. That one there is bloody wide. It's the biggest twister I've ever seen. Never seen a water spout that big before. That was that's three times, four times bigger than any I've seen, for sure. If that thing had to hit us, anything on the deck or the roof or anything on the outside of the boat potentially could be des destroyed or swept off the boat. 